one of the um, key take-home messages I feel from this year's ASH was probably um, the advent of this fixed duration treatment approaches. We saw numerous abstracts from all sorts of study groups across the world, um, also from, from different industry-sponsored trials, uh, trying to establish uh, fixed duration treatments with various combinations of targeted agents. And the results that have been uh, provided so far, although a lot of them are not that mature when it comes to reporting PFS or other time-related events, uh, but we do see that this treatment principle is highly effective when it comes to disease eradication. So we've seen rates of undetectable MRD reported both in the relapse refractory setting as well as in the frontline setting of um, over 60% of patients, even in high-risk patients and heavily pretreated patients. So for instance, see, as seen in the Clarity study from the UK and for venetoclax plus abrutinib in the relapse refractory setting, also in the frontline setting as, as presented in the Captivate study, also for venetoclax Abrutinib. We've seen several abstracts on triple combinations of PTK inhibitors, venetoclax, and obinutuzumab. So there is a lot of activity ongoing, and I'm very certain that in the next couple of years, this will become even more used also in the wider clinical practice. And on the other hand, I think there were some very intriguing abstracts uh, on cellular immunotherapies in, in, in CLL. We've seen some of the data in some way already in the previous meetings uh, in this year and last year, but we are seeing that the data are becoming more mature and we are actually seeing ongoing responses. So not just complete remissions in heavily pretreated patients who received, for instance, CD19 CAR T-cell therapies, but also that these remissions seem to be durable in a substantial amount of patients, which um, I feel is, is very encouraging that we can have effective treatment options now also for patients who relapse on BCK inhibitors as well as BCL2 inhibitors, because these are in the future the, the patients that we particularly need to, to provide a better perspective at the moment.